Namaste Ragiri. Thank you so much for having me. So when I was a very young child, I went to school in India with my sisters and we were in Himachal Pradesh at school where we learned Hindi and we learned uh, all subjects that you learn at school. But moreover, we had classes in Kuchipuri classical dance and also Hindustani classical music. So we developed an ear for many different Indian languages like Hindi, Sanskrit, Marathi, Punjabi, and I can't speak any of them fluently, but I, can, I have an ear for the pronunciation because I was there as a child, as a young child. And it really helped with uh, my singing later in life to have had that experience as a child where I heard many Indian languages and also was taught Hindi at school. So, I am Hindi, but I have a lot practice. Chahiye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We had a wonderful childhood. Uh, it was it, at the foothills of the Himalayas in Himachal Pradesh. It's an international school that we went to, and so we were surrounded by children from many different parts of the world and we had our schooling in all of the typical school subjects but also um, with Hindi and in, in the arts, in Indian arts, so Indian dance and in music and it was a very very inspiring time and I often look back to my experience as a child um, and I draw a lot of inspiration from it and even with my own music I am still inspired by my time that I had in India as a child. It was a very special time. When I was 17, I got the opportunity to study in Vaitana Music Academy, which is set up by Pique Salve, which is really exploring the different arts. So there was my first introduction to Hindustani classical music, which I learned from Dr. Arun Apte. And the course was called Music Therapy, so I was learning about the rags and also Sanskrit shlokas and how it impacts our well-being. So it was a very a wonderful way to start learning about music because it was how it makes us feel and how it can put us into a state of meditation. So for me it was the perfect entry point into this rich music of Hindustani classical music because I could feel um, all of the... I just really loved what... I loved the course and I could also feel how it was impacting me subtly and how the rags have a subtle vibration within our subtle body of the chakras and it was uh, just so illuminating for me on so many different levels and afterwards when I returned to the UK for my further studies I found various teachers to help continue my studies in Hindustani classical music. So after my studies at university, I got the chance to return to India to continue learning music. And um, I learned with a wonderful teacher, Pandit Prabhakadakare Guruji from Nagpur. And that was really, um, a moment where I just wanted to develop my skills a lot more and Guruji was such an incredible teacher and really listened out for all of the nuances to help with my singing, to help create the culture of the voice, as he would call it. And he is specialist also in classical music, but also light classical. So it was a very nice perspective for me to have and he introduced me to many ghazals, some of his own compositions, and I was also introduced to many, many different singers from India that I could uh, hear how they were singing and also practice it in my own voice. This is a ghazal which Guruji taught me when I was studying with him in Nagpur. It is his composition. It's called Ye Chandajo Rato Ko. Ye chand jo rato ko Meri saath jala hai Ye 
चांद जो रातो को मेरे साथ जला है शायद मेरी तनहाई का गम Seven Eyes is my band, Hamari band hai, or um, yeah, Hamari uh, original compositions hai. So with Seven Eyes, both my husband and I, we compose together, we write our songs together, and we draw upon many, many different influences from Hindustani classical music. And Paolo, my husband, is from Brazil. So Brazil is also lots of rich music culture. And so we draw upon all of these different influences and we express it in Hamari music, in our original music. And uh, we look forward to sharing a new album with you very soon that we are going to be recording uh, later this year. For me, I, I enjoy all different types of music. Um, I think there's something so much to be learned about like classical music in terms of the technique. And as my Guruji taught me, it's very much about light, um, light voice, light singing. But I really have so much admiration for all of the different genres of music and I don't have any preferred genre. I really like lots and lots of different types of music. However, I've been very much drawn to the Ghazal genre because of uh, the rich melodies that you can have in, in Ghazal. And uh, it's very melodious and I really enjoy uh, learning these compositions and also singing them. This is Mehdi Hassan Saab's Dekh To Dil. Dekh To Dil Ki Se Uthta Hai Ye Dua से उठता है देख तो दिल की जांच से उठता है ये दुआ से उठता है किस दिल की है ये फलक ये दुआ कहां से उठता है देख तो I love many, many different singers from India. So classical music, I would probably list Ustad Rashid Khan Saab, um, Pandit Ajoy Chakravati, Kaushiki Chakravati. Um, I mean, all of the greats, Ustad Bari Ali Khan Saab. Then we had, I mean, mm, Dr. Prabha Atreji. There's so many, so many amazing singers and um, that's just classical. Then in Bollywood, I am such a huge fan of Lata Ji, 
she's so her voice is so incredible and dexterous and then also some upcoming singers that I've come across like Arjit Singh he has a lovely voice and again just there's so much talent I will sing a very short Tumri in Rag Mishra Khamaj ah. Oh. 